I'd like to introduce to you a really special model known as the Earth Star. And it's based, it's a map of the world, as you can see. It's a map of the world showing all the sacred sites on the planet. And they exist on um, what we call nodal points. This was a very sacred shape, according to Buckminster Fuller. And even 2,200 years ago, we had Plato. Plato was saying that if you want to think of the world, think of it as 12, a sphere that's been sewn with 12 skins. And here, if we look closely, th this is similar to the 12 skins, but it's called a rhombic triacontahedron. It's exactly this shape here, but it's made up of 30 diamonds. And the reason why this is important is that it's all based on the golden ratio. So I'll put that one down. So it's got 60 faces, 62 edges, 30 diamond faces. Now we're going to zoom in onto Australia here. If you look at... Um, this diamond here, that's called a golden diamond because the distance from there to there in Fibonacci numbers, if this was 13, the long axis, this is called eight. The ratio of eight to 13 is approximately 1 1.6, 1.618, the golden ratio. And if you look at the, at the center of that diamond, we have in Australia a very sacred place called Grid Point 44. We call it Wilpina Pound. It's our sacred site that's very close to Uluru, the red, the red, the giant red rock, which is above that nodal point. So we all know that one here. If we turn it around, the main one that the whole world knows is called Grid Point One. So here we see Egypt in this golden diamond. And if we had to measure it, the distance of that long axis is 2,200 miles, and it would be balanced by the shorter axis of 1,400 miles. So Grid Point One was the center of the ancient. Atlantean model um, and, the, and the, I'll just give you one more point there's lots of points but if we turn this around here just one more point you'll see that this is the that sharp point there is called the Bermuda Triangle there's been a lot of mysteries and boats missing and sightings happening at this intersection of one two three four five at the center of this pentagonal geometry there's been huge magnetic aberrations and tectonic plates that have been shifting. So um, scientists love geometry because it helps us to map the earth. And by mapping the earth, we realize that the earth is a fractal of who we are and the earth is a fractal of the sun and the greater cosmos. So by understanding the measurement of the earth, which is what geometry means, geo is the earth and metry means to measure. So when we measure the earth, we're really understanding the very fabric of who we are.